Hello everyone, this is Matt with Amped Outdoors. Today we're going to show you how to connect two 12 volt batteries in parallel to achieve higher capacity. So there's two different ways you can connect batteries together. One in series, one in parallel. We show series in our other video. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect in parallel. Parallel will take two 12 volt batteries like I have here. I have two 12 volt 60 amp hours. When I connect the black to the black and the red to the red using these connection cables, you will now achieve a 12 volt 120 amp hour bank. So to do so, I've already connected the blacks and the reds together. The screws are untightened at this time. I'm going to show you the correct way of connecting your sources, whether it be charging source that I'm going to show here with this cable to the source that you're going to be powering, whether it's electronics or trolling motor or anything else in, in your system. There's two different ways of really doing this. So a lot of people think that I should connect both my charger and my source to the positive and negative of one of the batteries. And that's the incorrect way of doing it. What you want to do is take, for example, your negatives, connect that to the negative of your first battery, which I'm gonna do here. Do my charger first, then my source closest to the battery. And then I'm gonna take my positives and I'm gonna connect that to the positive of the second battery. Screw that. Now, by doing this, I am going to be charging these batteries in parallel and discharging them in parallel by connecting to the positive of one and negative of the other. That ensures that we're going to be discharging these batteries evenly. So when you only have it connected to one battery, what's happening is that electricity is going to flow the path of least resistance. So it's going to pull more from this battery than technically this battery here. By doing positive on one, negative of the other, that will ensure that they're both charging evenly and discharging evenly. After you tighten everything down by hand, I always recommend your dielectric grease. Apply them to your connections. You don't have to put a lot on. That'll keep them corrosion free and a good solid connection. Then tighten everything up. Make sure you're using that lock washer so that way you fully utilize that washer to ensure that you have a tight connection. Also, check your connections regularly. Make sure that these connections are corrosion free Check your cables, make sure they're free of any frays, and this will be a battery system that'll last you an extremely long time. So make sure you like us on YouTube, check us out on all of our other social media platforms. If you have any questions, reach out to us, sales at ampedoutdoors.com, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching.